It's a French side that has not made the competition finals in 13 years. Their welcome return with plenty of talent. And Arsenal man Matteo Guendouzi is left out of the starting 11. Dussar handles the captaincy with the injury to Abdou Diallo. When they have made the competition in recent seasons. Winners in 1988. Olenki didn't have a great season with his club teams. But for the first time since 1988, they've got a two-year contract extension for helping this group qualify for the first time. Since the make out have a really big impact on this tournament. Chowdhury going forward with a touch off. When he was 27 years of age, brought some of that hard graft into this squad. A real strong mentality. How strong this French lineup could have been. Juan Bissaka. The pace of Gray. Big things from the young man. A good ball in. Dealt with by Bernardoni. It was on the U-17 World Cup participants in Korea. That's delivery of the highest quality as well. Whipped into the six-yard box, played with such pace. It's so tough for Bernardoni to come with. He has just about dealt with it. Hurt himself in the process, though, with Solanke. Just England has only lost three times at this level. All to Germany. Mbele. Started in Scotland for two seasons. Returned to Lyon. Pairing for the French. Madison. Tomori. He's got three U-20 caps for Canada. But Kyle Tomori. Derby County's player of the year. And England finding the difficulties of breaking through with a club like PSG. At 17 games. the U19 Euros in Georgia. Solanke, World Cup champs in India two summers ago. Solanke! Right on the front door. Absolutely exquisite delivery from Damari Gray. Not the case in the end. I think Boothroyd, A.D. Boothroyd, the head coach of England, was having a little bit of a toss -up. Smooth ingenuity from Foden in the starting 11. Sessegnon with an open look, set across. Balotore. A first time cross. Trying to win a fourth youth international competition. Side netting. Another England turnover, Bamba. Follow-up run, Ren Adelaide, the pass behind. Minutes. Bamba. Rising up and a shot for handball. Off his 15-goal season. What a save, Henderson! It's a fabulous save from Dean Henderson, but it's a really nice height for the... It wasn't a great deal. I think that Clark Salter could have done differently. Yes, his hand was a little bit outstretched. This is that decision. It is in an unnatural position, and that's the save from Henderson. None on target. Four shots for France. This is Gray. Trying to hit Solanke. Stumble over two legs. Kone cut down as he cut. Dabele. Another big save from Henderson. Through the early years. 78 to 90, finding it. But at the other end, Akone! 18 yards out. He has to test Bernardoni from here. It's just that final product from England. It hasn't been there so far in this 41 and a half minutes we've seen so far this afternoon. Move from Juan Bissaka. Bamba pounces and threads a lovely ball through to Dembele. Been there for England. 
This first set, she's absolutely majestic. Beats Balo Torre, all ends. Initially, I thought Henderson may have got some fingertips to this. It looks like it just goes over the crossbar, unaided from Henderson. On that ball in, Dembele. Three giant saves, including the PK. One last push for the Young Lions. Another direct hit, Solenki. Just out of range. France showing patience. Bamba blisters it right off the gloves of Henderson. I think Ikone has been a vital part of this French team. Just a simple ball into Bamba. James Madison during qualifying. And off that turnover on the pass. The early chance for Dembele. He's been snake bitten so far. Andorra. Foden showing off his brilliance. The Manchester City Phenom has the Young Lions in the lead 10 minutes after halftime. You don't need to worry about great team play when you've got a, a kid like Phil Foden at your disposal. Look at the close control here. The ball's on a piece of string, it's tied to his boot. And an exquisite finish at the end. Tight control and a decent left-footed finish. Doesn't try to hit the leather off the ball, just strokes it into the back of the net. Nothing Bernard's only... When will he be more vital? He's only 19. Almost a second. Right there, just to take the ball away. And this is that Foden goal. Don't think he touched... He makes the headlines moment ago. That good-looking ball had runners. He's played and he scored. Tamori away. He is the, the real one player on this England side who has that type of quality. Four minutes. But France still in the hunt. Foden. Solanke helping to win the ball back. The tap-in is there. Until it's not. They'll check it. Sessegnon. Well, I think initially there was thoughts that Sessegnon had... How are... Bamba. Penalty. The penalty upcoming. And Chowdhury sent off. Exactly. It's a double hit, isn't it? The penalty and the sending off, as you've said, Neil. Nothing more than Chowdhury deserves. It's a really poor tackle. Firstly, to put your team in trouble with giving away a penalty. But then just the reckless nature of that challenge as well. Leaves the referee, Jovanovic, tonight with no option but to warrant or to issue a red card. Hit the post! Hits the post, and obviously because the ball hits the play, the post, Bois can't touch the ball as it comes back off the post. It's considered two touches, obviously, without anyone touching the without anyone else touching the ball. It's correct. Last few minutes, Akone makes his mark at the most crucial moments. France back on even terms. 1-1 in the 89th. We said there'd be more chances, and it was almost inevitable it fell to this man, Ikone. He said he'd been the best player on show for France this evening. And he just crushes a blow, a left-footed blow, into the bottom corner of Henderson's goal. He'll do it again from the same flag. And on that run, the healed effort, it's knocked in! France have their winner! For me, this is an own goal at the back post from Wan-Bissaka. Dean Henderson's going to pick that up. Wan-Bissaka goes at the ball with his wrong foot. He goes at it with the outside of his right when he has to clear it out with his left. The natural way to kick the ball...